Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video, we are going to paint the town red. I have so many red things to show you that I have picked up along the way recently and I guess you could call this a, let's see, one, two, three, four, quadruple reveal. I might put something about a quadruple reveal in the title because I'm pretty sure I haven't shown you four of these things at least, but they are all red. And if that gives you any hints as to the main topic of the video, then I would say go down in the comments and guess what the video is about because it should be pretty obvious. Okay, I've given you time to guess. So what the video is about is the bag that I picked from the last video I did, I showed you two bags. I showed you a Marc Jacobs, the tote bag in the color True Red, and I showed you a Carrie Crossbody in the color Dark Stone. And I have to tell you that after weighing all the advice I got from all of you, as well as my internal feelings about the matter, I decided to send back the Carrie Crossbody to 24S. I have done a return with 24S before, and it was no issue. And so I sent that bag on its merry way back there and decided to keep the Marc Jacobs True Red, the tote bag in the small size. So I have her all unwrapped and ready to go. She's getting to go to a ball game tonight. So she gets to go out on the town. It's rainy and miserable out. And so she's been through the rain. I've already waterproofed her with Colonel Carbon Pro. And I don't think you necessarily need to do that for this bag, but I did just because, and also because I am wearing dark denim today. And what I have on is new as well. So the jacket I have on, when I get up here in a second, I'll show you closer, but it is a jacket, a jean jacket by Risen in kind of a charcoal black wash. And I picked it up, I believe, from the Freckled Poppy. And then I picked up this black one here, which is really cute as well, from that sultry.com. I'm going to link the various places I've gotten some of this Risen denim lately because it is literally the most amazing, softest feeling denim. And none of these links are affiliate links. But I am just loving this brand. And... I thought it would be really nice to have an all black jacket to go with perhaps some of my gray joggers as an alternative to wearing blue. And also if I wanna wear blue jeans and I wanna wear a denim jacket, I thought it would be really nice to have a black one and a gray colored one. Now this one is hemmed down at the bottom and it's a lot less roughed up than the one that I have on as you will soon see. So Paul from Next Fashion kindly sent me one of his new lightweight oval link chains and I'm going to bedazzle the bag with this particular chain. So what do you think? Does the chain bling her up just right? I like it. I don't know if I'll leave it on for the game but I definitely love it for just day-to-day -day errands or going out if you're going to use this as your going out bag. For me this is more of my Diet Dr. Pepper holding and snack holding type bag. So I'm going to show you everything about the bag real quick. And in the process, I'm gonna show you some other things too that I picked up along the way. First, I never showed you this. This was something I picked up in Hawaii. It is a waterproof bag. It feels like it was made out of a sail. And I picked it up at Tommy Bahama. I wanna say this one retailed for around $44.99. And they had other sizes as well, but it says Aloha in the inside. I'm not sure if that's the brand because like I said, I picked it up at Tommy Bahama, but I do know that they carry other brands at that store besides just the Tommy Bahama brand. So it probably is this brand Aloha, but I used it for our wetsuits on the way home. It was fabulous for that. And so in a smaller size, this would be a really nice makeup style bag to use as it is watertight. You could even put perfume in a bag like this, but again, in one of the smaller sizes. So if I can find some of these, I'll link these down below. It feels really nice and you can see it'll crumple up really small and it'll just spread right back out. It is a really nice material. One of the other fun things I have purchased recently are a new pair of Uggs. Now this is the Numel style, N-E-U-M-E-L, I believe is how it's spelled. 
and they are similar in terms of the sole to a regular Ugg. I've worn these, but they still have sticker on there. Oops, that's kind of embarrassing. Ah, it does not want to come off easily. There's a little hanger on her piece that's saying, I'm not leaving. Got it. So they are lined in the pure wool, which is a different material than Ugg originally started with, with the sheepskin lining, but they do feel really good. I took my normal size in Ugg. Normally I'm an eight and a half or a nine, but in Uggs I wear a size eight, and that's what I wear in these. I hear that they pack down when you wear them, and they were slightly snug when I put them on the first time, and they already feel great. And so when they do pack down, I may have to wear a little bit thicker sock, but I thought that they would be great with my new bag. And yes, I did sort of plan this, but these came before this. These came to go with my other red bags, and it was a lucky, happy coincidence that they also go with the Marc Jacobs The Toe Bag. Another pair of shoes that I recently picked up are the Hey Dudes in a beautiful shade of red. I don't know the color name. I picked these up off of Amazon. I will link them and the Uggs down below. The Uggs I picked up from Walmart and they weren't sold by Walmart. Walmart has a sort of marketplace like Amazon does. And so I'll link them if I can. They were $93, the Uggs were. And then I think I got these for around 40. They retail for around 60, but I just watched them until the price went down. And these are an even better match for my bag. So I am love, love, loving that combo. Now, I wasn't lying. I told you I was painting the town red tonight. It is the evening after all. I picked up this University of Kansas sweatshirt. Now this is a pale red, but I do feel like that the Marc Jacobs the tote bag does pop on this paler red. Totally works. I will warn you, I told you about these the other day. These are the press box style sweatshirt. I think I may have been wearing it in a video. It has a really cute side slit on the side. My cousin-in-law told me that hers like this, it bled really bad. So what I did is I color locked it by putting it in my kitchen sink for two days for two separate soaks with vinegar and salt. And it was still bleeding some after that. Not much, but just a little bit because a little bit got on my Shout Color Catcher sheet in the washing machine. So that's a little pro tip, you know, wash whatever it is in the washing machine, maybe by itself with a Shout Color Catcher wipe and see if any of the red goes onto that wipe. I wash all of my darks with Shout Color Catcher wipes. And if there is something that's bleeding a little bit, those wipes pick it up and for the most part, keep that dye that's floating around in the water off of my clothes. The last red thing of the day would be this cardigan. So I found these on Amazon and I did a little test on a white piece of fabric and just the tiniest bit of pink came off. And so I went ahead and washed this again with just a shout color catcher wipe. I didn't do the whole color fast test and it did make that little wipe a little bit pink, but I think that the quality on this is pretty darn good for a red top and it's especially good for the price point it was at on Amazon. These are around $30. They range like I just ordered two more because it feels amazing. And one of them was 32, I think 5% off of that. And then one was 26 with 5% off. So very good prices. It is so soft. This one's still a little bit wet from washing it, but they are so stinking soft. I am wearing a medium in it and that is my normal size. The thing I think that is super cool is the content. It is made out of anti-pilling and desse. I don't even know what that is, but anti-pilling. That is fantastic. I don't know if it'll work or not, but anything anti-pilling, I hate pilling. I'm all for anti-pilling. And then it also has some sort of adhesive for God knows what, nylon and PBT. I do not know what PBT is. All I know is this material is incredibly soft. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It is incredibly soft. It's a little tiny bit fuzzy. And I love the band around the top. 
this is the medium. I could totally wear a large and it would cross across my chest more, but I can get it to close across my chest and I have a large chest and it's very, very comfortable. All right, so I told you I was gonna try on the Marc Jacobs bag. I've got my red lip. This is a limited edition red lip gloss from my Estee Lauder holiday gift set, the bonus set I bought for $85. Got my true red bag. Gonna show you the inside. I had an extra pink insert laying around, which is fantastic. I haven't cut the tag off, but I've worn it, so it's not going back or anything. But I thought I would show you we're gonna try to rip the tag off because I didn't bring any scissors in here. But if I can't rip the tag off, then I'll go get some scissors. So let's go. Ah, I am strong enough. The tag is now removed. So I don't like the zipper hanging out the side. So what I did is I went ahead and tucked it in on the side of the insert. You can see the leather color on the inside is this beautiful pink. And then I put this rose ballerine colored pink insert in there it's got all my usual stuff the diet dr pepper will fit right on top plus maybe a pack of keto cookies and so it is loaded and ready to go i'm going to basketball if i didn't say that already but here it is got it on my risen denim jacket you can see it has a frayed bottom that kind of scoops up at the top and i paired it with these risen denim jeans which once again have a side slit. You can see that there. And I've got the red hay dudes on. I'm probably going to switch for my black Ugg boots because it's rainy and nasty out there. And I don't want to mar my Ugg red boots or these red hay dudes, but I love this bag. It is so stinking comfortable and squishy. And I love the bright pop of red. I'm interested to see if anybody notices my new bag tonight. I mean, how could you miss it? It is so large and in charge. One thing about these little chains is I think they look best when they kind of come over the top and then they start draping around the handle. So you kind of have to adjust them because if you just let it fall along the sides, I mean, that doesn't look bad, it's fine. It's fine like that, but I really like it to drape like this. And it stays like that most of the time unless you're whipping it on and off and then you might have to do a little bit of adjusting action. So I know this video has been a bit short and sweet, but you got to see lots of eye candy, lots of color. We painted the closet red anyway, maybe not the whole town. We just painted the closet, but there's lots of color surrounding me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there's the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at the handbag housewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.